All right, I'm here with Gav Bouchard. He's been a broker for over 30 years in the Orlando area. We're talking about why is it an interesting, perhaps really great time to be looking at buying a vacation property in the Orlando area. Yeah, right now what we're seeing is a potentially like we're seeing a little bit of a dip in the market where we have some owners that are a little bit nervous because they haven't had bookings for mm -hmm. since the pandemic started and that lack of income and having the expenses of carrying the homes that some we're starting to see some discounting going on in the market and it's definitely sporadic based on community and different you know the rentability of some of the properties but we're definitely seeing some pricing going down and then with the new home the new construction there was so much momentum in that area and we're seeing builders getting caught with a lot of inventory yeah. and a lot of homes under construction and they have to keep that machine rolling so absolutely the, you know one of the top communities in the industry we're seeing as much as a hundred thousand dollar discount on the homes and this is a community that literally you had to get a reservation you couldn't even buy a home there they couldn't keep up with the construction so wow. you know if this is what we believe it is it's an exceptional time to buy um, the rentals may not be as robust for a little while but then what we're anticipating happening is the the market to come out great and you may be hearing you know about vacation homes and how popular and how well they're doing and across the country they're doing amazing but because of Orlando and the theme parks and the heat of the summer, we just lost one of our, our big summer season. But we are anticipating if things do settle down with the pandemic that we're going to be very robust. And one of the things I've been saying to our agents and our staff is, is every day that the parks are not at capacity mm -hmm. is you're building a huge backlog of demand. Also, what we're hearing through travel circles is that people are going to travel to drive markets to stay domestic. So hmm. we're really anticipating a huge amount of demand in the near future for vacation homes in Orlando. Yeah, Orlando's positioned perfectly for domestic and for drive market. Too. Absolutely. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, you mentioned how vacation rentals are doing so well elsewhere. And a lot of that's because they're finding that people are preferring vacation homes versus hotels in this new Absolutely. pandemic era. Yeah, and, and, and in talking to a lot of the people in our industry locally, we're, we're even seeing that in our condominium product that's not as popular as the, the single family homes. People feel very safe and comfortable in a vacation home. So that's what's happening nationally. And markets that their seasons are getting extended. People are you know, staying in seasons that were just not popular in places in the Northeast and all over the country. So yeah, we know we're gonna have our day in the sun here, right. so to speak, but you know, our, our winter market is looking good, but yeah, I really believe that we, we're we, gonna- We could be going through it yeah, now, which yeah, is so, a really great buying opportunity and the mid to long-term prospects yeah. look very- sure Well, and I'm glad you said long-term because that makes me think of like, you know, the, the one of our, our big markets, a lot of it is international and that's gonna be probably, mm -hmm. we're, they're projecting to be held off for a year or two, but hopefully what happens is as this domestic, you know, we're gonna spike for the next couple of years and then hopefully that big international will start kicking in. The, Air, the Orlando airport's adding a whole new terminal for wow. international flights. So a lot of great things in the pipeline in Orlando. The fundamentals we believe are there for, you know, this is could be just a window of opportunity for somebody that's looking to buy a home in Orlando. It's exciting. We're gonna do a lot more videos like this. So if you're interested in buying in Orlando, this is what this channel is all about. So talk to you next time.